Hi, Sophie Giuliano here, and today I am going to talk to you a little bit more about vitamin C, why it's so unbelievably important for our skin, and I'm going to give you a product recommendation that you are not going to want to miss. Alright, so let us get on with it. First off, I'm going to have a sip of my tea. I'm drinking um, white tea here. Beautiful white tea. Mmm. Oh, I love a cup of tea in the afternoon, and particularly white or green. Why? Because it's filled with antioxidants. So vitamin C is, of course, an antioxidant. So we drink antioxidants, we eat antioxidants, and we must definitely need to put them on our skin. But out of all the antioxidants, there is really only one that has been proven. And when I say proven, I am talking years, 20, 30 years of medical journals, peer-reviewed research, and all of that. And for me, if I'm going to be plastering my skin with something in the um, effort of anti-aging, I've got to know that that stuff is going to work because I don't go for all this kind of marketing unless I really know there's substance behind it. So in the case of vitamin C, there is substance behind it. And, um, and really, vitamin C, most of the research has been done with vitamin C as an L-ascorbic acid, uh, which is actually a synthetic form of, of vitamin C, um, but very, very uh, compelling. And, and so many of my videos, and forgive me if you are a, uh, if you are a subscriber already on my channel, because you've probably seen a lot of my videos and or read my books, and I write a lot about it in my most recent book, uh, Gorgeous for Good, a 30-day uh, program to lasting beauty inside and out. Um, and if, by the way, you have not subscribed to my channel, please do, because you don't want to miss all these little nuggets that you're going to get every week. Um, but anyway, yes, I write a lot about it, and I write about l acid, yes, being important, but but also being very unstable. It is not a stable ingredient. And what this basically means is that when it's added to an aqueous solution, and that means any kind of solution with water, that would be a cream, a lotion, or anything else like that, it begins to degrade. When it degrades, it becomes unstable. When it's unstable, it will do your skin absolutely no good whatsoever. In fact, it'll, it can uh, create free radicals that can actually damage your skin. So, your vitamin C has to be stable. So when you go shopping around looking for a product, if it says vitamin C on the container, if, unless you know, you've done your research and you know that the form they're using is a very stable form, do ask questions email a company, call them up, whatever it is, never be, I always say to people with skincare, never be afraid to ask questions and ask and ask and ask because it's your money that you're spending and you want it to have something that's really good and potent and works. Um, so that's that's the most important thing, say, you know, is it stable? What kind of form of it um, is it in? And just so that you know, there are a lot of, when I say a lot, I know of about mm, five to eight stable forms of, uh, of vitamin C um, that you can start looking out for. I'll do, actually do a video on that another time. But for now, I want to give you the product recommendation that I said I would, because I'm always on the lookout for great vitamin C products, and this is one that has I've come across and I really like it. So it is by a company called Go Pure. And I recommend, if you're in the market for a vitamin C product, that you would get the vitamin C cleanser and the vitamin C serum, like so. Okay, the cleanser is fantastic because it also contains organic aloe and it contains organic rosehip seed oil. And what I love about that is rose hip seed oil, or rose uh, hips uh, oil, as it's sometimes called, is naturally chock full of vitamin C. And um, so it's a beautiful oil to look for generally, by the way, in skincare. But I like how Go Pure have comboed it into this uh, cleanser with their stable form of vitamin C. The cleanser you would use morning and night. So if you have 
stubborn eye makeup and whatnot, you might want to use an eye makeup remover first and then cleanse with this. In the morning, I've just cleansed with the vitamin C cleanser. And then afterwards, you will use your vitamin C serum and you can use it morning and night. Now, here's what I will say, and I forgot to say actually at the beginning of this video, is why, what does, well, not ascorbic acid, but what does vitamin C do for our skin? Well, it mitigates past damage. So if like me, you've spent hours in the sun throughout your teens and 20s and 30s, I 100% did, and hello, look at my coloring. Um, it really will help mitigate that damage, uh, brown spots and, for all kinds of photo uh, damage, uneven coloring, all of which um, I have had a lot of. Also, what's really interesting is it protects your skin against future sun damage. And even more interesting is your skin actually stores uh, vitamin C. So if I'm to use these products this morning, then uh, really theoretically I don't have to use them tomorrow because they'll still be in my skin tomorrow. So you could use them every other day, but I actually use them every day just because, because it does so many different things as well. Aside from that, it also helps build collagen and elastin. So why not use it every day? And frankly, if you can, why not use it morning and night? So links to these fantastic Go Pure products um, underneath or above the video, depending on where, uh, depending on, uh, where you're viewing it. And um, subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.